morning. Today is Sunday, which means that we are in Maui. We have an overnight in Maui every single week. And this week we decided to rent a car and drive the road to Hana. So that is what we're doing today. I'm super excited. We haven't really explored much of Maui, so we're gonna see a lot of it today. It is about 8 a.m. right now. We are just waiting for the gangway to be set. And then Robert is gonna go get the rental car and I am gonna go get some snacks from Whole Foods with Juliana and Lauren. And then he'll come and pick us up and then we will go on the drive. So I'm not entirely sure what to expect on the drive. I know that there's waterfalls, hikes, um, places to swim, places to eat. So we're kind of just packing everything we can think of just to make sure that we're ready. Let me show you what we're packing. So I have my camera bag. I've got my big camera. This is the GoPro waterproof handle. And then the GoPro is in there. I also have my um, gimbal in there, which I haven't really gotten a ton of use out of. So I'm gonna try to use that today. And then in here, I just have my wallet. I'm bringing a hairbrush. In Robert's bag, we have our towels, the new Polaroid. Look how cute it is. The blue is so pretty. And then granola bars, water, hat. He's got his towel. I'm bringing my shoes. I'm currently wearing running shoes so that I'm ready for any type of event. And then he's gonna bring his snorkel. And that's pretty much it. I feel like a lot of people have mixed reviews on the road to Hana. A lot of people say it's scary, but I've also read that it's not scary. So I'm excited to see what I think about it. Um, I really don't know what to expect. So we'll see how it goes. And we are gonna head to the gangway now. Sorry, I'm taking a video. <laughs> so we got our snacks, got some boom chicka pop, and a LaCroix, and we're waiting for Robert to come pick us up. Thanks for getting the car! started our drive. Who's excited? Woo! <laughs> we got coffee from Better Things Cafe and um, we also got a, what's it called? Gypsy Guide app. So we have a man telling us what we're seeing as we're seeing it along the drive. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, not the police. This is tragic. My tie shoes! <laughs> Gotta get me pinky toe in. It's not <laughs> yeah. Okay, our first stop is. What is this called? Twin Falls. <laughs> Twin Falls. Yeah, you didn't buy toe shoes, you made fun of mine. <laughs> You're not gonna go? I haven't decided yet. You ready? <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Cold again, cold again. Man. I hate this. <laughs> My toe shoes are holding me down. It's not very clear, which is kind of sketch. River monster, you know? Okay, should we go in? Video of Krista struggling. Okay, we're at Twin Falls, and this might not be the twin. This, I don't, I don't think this is the twin. And um, I did not bring hiking shoes, so I had to go barefoot. Everyone else had like some sort of shoes to wear, and so I'm kind of struggling. But um, yeah, this is our first stop on the road to Hana, and it's beautiful. We spent a lot of time here already. Yeah. What's the time? What's the time? Alright, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Alright, on to the next! On to the next! Okay, you ready to go jump off some waterfall? Yeah. 
alright. So now I'm gonna run back out. I'm gonna get on my feet because I lost at the top. So there's like nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what I've learned so far on the road to Hana is you need water shoes. And I don't have any. <laughs> called the gypsy guide I think is what it's called it was ten dollars and the guy on the app literally just knows where we are on the road and then he tells us like if you want to stop here there's a turnout you can do this little hike it's short which is what we're doing now or they'll be like there's a waterfall to your left look there and some of the things that we want to do are past Hana so we have to drive another about hour to get to those things so yeah we're just at this lookout and we're gonna keep going botanical gardens um it's called an arbitorium it's gorgeous and green sorry this is a really shaky video because i'm walking on rocks but we got to see some very beautiful plant life and flowers but we also got bit by a ton of mosquitoes i'm pretty sure paper mulberries fucker <laughs> oh my legs are very itchy we also saw these really pretty rainbow uh, rainbow eucalyptus trees they have all these really gorgeous colors in them and so that that was worth it. So now we are getting back on the road and we are gonna go down to the peninsula and um, go check out the cute little town that's down there, maybe grab something to eat and yeah. driving for the past about 20 minutes and we just stopped at this little stand for a snack. Hopefully gonna get a sandwich and some fruit. We'll see what they have. Okay, so that little farm stand that we just stopped at didn't actually have any food. Um, they had these bananas, which are <laughs> so small. Um, so we got two of those and Robert got a coffee, but um, I was hoping to get a sandwich because I haven't actually eaten anything substantial today. I had some banana bread and a granola bar, but I haven't had any real food. Would love to have some poke, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Um, I don't know if I already said this. It's a Sunday, so everything is closed pretty much. There haven't really been any of the fruit trucks that are apparently usually everywhere. Um, so hopefully when we get to Hana, there's going to be something to eat. It's also about three, three o'clock now and our guide that we like downloaded the app on he was like you should head back around 4 30 so that you don't have to drive in the dark so we are probably going to do that but we still have an hour or no we still have 20 minutes before we get to hana hey hi um we have 20 minutes hi, before we get to hana and then um we're hoping to do the bamboo forest which is a four mile hike so i don't think we're really gonna be able to do that what are we gonna do <laughs> we might go to the seven sacred pools. We're gonna we're gonna see what we have time for. Okay, we're running out of sunlight, so we are trying really hard to make it to the bamboo forest on the what's the trail called? PPY Trail. I'm out of breath. We're going as fast as we can. It's a mile there and a mile back. It's like 5 p.m. 
and uh, hopefully it's worth it. Ooh, there's a bridge. Going to nowhere. This must be the bamboo forest. Holy shit. sweaty because I've been running and I keep getting ahead and then stopping and taking photos and videos but uh, yeah I'm just basically scouting it out for Krista and the gang. Everyone else is kind of coming down right now so I mean it's almost five o'clock. It's a little late for uh, casual hiking. Oh my gosh my health. It's like the, they really meant for us when they said it like it's Pretty good size. I'm winded, obviously. I thought it was more like a gimmick. Like, oh, the bamboo forest. No, it's a real, a real bamboo forest. <laughs> I decided <laughs> it's probably time to just head back. It's 5.07 now. And uh, starting to rain a little bit. I think it's time to call it quits, sadly. We seriously had the best day driving the road to Hana. I wasn't scared at all we did have to drive back in the dark a little bit which i guess was a little bit sketchy but based on all the things that everyone was telling us about the drive making it sound like it was kind of scary i didn't really feel it at all um but it also wasn't very busy we did it on mother's day we did it on a sunday and so i think that that kind of played into that as well also if you're wondering where i am i will explain more in the next video but i am in quarantine i <laughs> luckily had an amazing week driving the road to Hana, and now I am taking a little break and spending five days in quarantine. I'm not sick, Robert got sick. Anyways, I'll explain all of that later, but that's where I am. So if you're coming from the ship um, or any cruise ship and you only have a day to do this, you're gonna wanna get off right away. I definitely recommend, honestly, starting at seven, like starting the drive at seven, not like going and getting your coffee at seven. That's just gonna make it so much better for you. You'll have all the time that you need. And then also if you are on a ship, I recommend, I was telling my other castmates who are gonna do it next week, to go all the way to Hana and pass there and go to the Bamboo Forest, the Seven Sacred Pools, all of that first, and then make your way back toward the ship rather than stopping, spending all day, and then it gets to 5.30 p.m. like it did to us, and then having to drive back in the dark for, for part of the drive. It's the road to Hana, but it's honestly the road past Hana. I would definitely do it again. It was amazing, hands down. I am really starting to love Maui. It's one of my favorite islands that we go to every week. And um, I can't wait for more adventures there in the next couple of months. But thanks so much for watching. If you're curious about why I'm in quarantine, what the heck happened, make sure that you subscribe so that you get notified once I post that video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.